For these types of problems, you have to find the value of the underlying digit and multiply its value by 10. So let's look at the directions more closely. It says find the value or the amount the digit's actually worth. So find the value of the underlying digit. Remember, a digit is a single number, 0 to 9, that represents a value. And then you're going to multiply it, which means to make it bigger a certain number of times. In this case, you're going to multiply it by 10. So you're going to make it bigger 10 times. So let's look at some examples. All right, so let's look at number one. We're going to first find the value of the underlying digit. So in this case, since the 5 is in the 1's place, the value of the 5 is 5. So we're going to find the value of the digit, and then we're going to multiply its value by 10. So we're going to take 5 and multiply it by 10. So 5 times 10 is 50. Let's look at the next example. So this time we have a 5, but this time it's in the 10's place. So the value of this 5 is actually 50 already. So once we have the original value, we're going to multiply it by 10. So we're going to do 50 times 10. Well, that's not quite as easy as the first example, but if you remember the relationship between the different place values, this will be much easier. So the relationship between each place value, every time you move from one place to the next, you are actually multiplying by 10. If you move from the tens to the hundreds, you're actually multiplying that by 10 because 10 tens makes 100. In between every place value, you are multiplying by a value of 10. So in this case, right now, we already have a 5. And right now, the 5 is in the tens place. So if we want to multiply it by 10, we can move that over one place and put it here instead. So now we have a 5 that's in the hundreds place, and we need to add the two zeros as placeholders for the rest of the number. So 50 times 10 is 500. Let's look at this example. This time we have a five in the thousands place. So right now, the value of that five is 5,000. So now, according to the directions, we have to multiply it by 10. So 5,000 times 10. It's not quite as easy unless you remember that every time you move a digit to the place value next door, you're multiplying by 10. So all you have to do to multiply by 10 is to take the digit and move it one place to the left. So now the 5 needs to be in the 10 thousands place and all the other digits turn to zeros. So if we increase the value of this 5 10 times, it's going to move here. Let's do one more. Right now, we have a value of 80,000. But we need to multiply this value by 10. So instead of doing 80,000 times 10, I can just take this 8 and move it one place to the left. Because I remember that every time we move to the left, it's already multiplying by 10. So if I move this one place to the left, I need to take it from the 10 thousands place and move it to the hundred thousands place. So when I rewrite the number, I need to make sure that the eight is now in the hundred thousands place. All right, you try the rest yourself, and if you need help, just start this video over and watch it again. Good luck.